Sarah Spice Box are strong personalities. The queen of fragrance. The king of zing. The royal and the elegant. The glorious, revered healers. The super strong. Fiery and pungent. The pleasing, beckoning, flamboyant aromatics. And in the midst of all these are two cousins. Common, abundant, taken for granted. This is the story of two everyday spices. Cumin and Coriander. Cumin and Coriander. The comforting taste of home food. The tang of the chart. कोई भी सब्जी में आप सिर्फ धना जीरा डालोगे या नमक डालोगे, it will taste awesome. बिना जीरे के हिसाब से अगर मुझे देखा जाए चीज को कल्पना करना जैसे के जैसे गुलाब के अंदर कोई खुशबू ही ना हो रोज का वो आदत है ना बचपन से खाने का कुछ अलग नहीं लगता है लेकिन जब नहीं रहेगा तो मालूम पड़ता है कि जीरा नहीं है उसमें पानी पूरी का पानी बना रहे हैं तो अगर जब तक उसमें भुना जीरा नहीं जाएगा उसमें वो आता ही नहीं स्वाद दोनों से थोड़ा उसमें खुशबू आता है और टेस्ट आता है Coriander and cumin literally hang out together in Indian kitchens. The two cousins from the same family of plants, the Umbelliferae or the Apiaceae family, commonly called the Parsleys. The dynamic family with some very diverse members. Our spice trail today begins with coriander, the abundant, almost ordinary spice with an extraordinary story. Dhanya, the Hindi name itself means wealth. But the roots of its Latin name, coriandrum sativum, not so pleasing. The Greek word chorus means a bed bug. That's where coriander comes from. It was Roman naturalist and philosopher Pliny the Elder who likened the smell of the leaf and unripe fruits to that of a bug and gave coriander its smelly name. Whatever the name, coriander leaves and seeds both have remained center stage for flavor and health since ancient times. Rajasthan, together with Gujarat, is called the bowl of seed spices. It's March. With winter almost gone, this is the season to harvest the seeds of coriander. The plants have dried. The brown globules of coriander ready to burst. The green leaves long gone. It's early morning and the farmers cut the whole plant. This was planted in December. In just three months, the plant has multiplied the seed some 40 to 50 times. The well-drained loamy soil, well suited for its growth. The farmers work swiftly. If the sun becomes too harsh, the globules may burst, the seeds may be lost. Their colourful attire offsets the terrain and the crop. Coriander has a long history. Believed to have come to India before 1st AD. Its use extensive, 
the world over since ancient times. Deep in the past, the Chinese believed that the one who consumed coriander seeds would become immortal. Ancient Egyptians believed in life after death. They perfected the art of preservation, elaborate use of oils and spices, their special skill. Coriander used by them for mummification. The seeds of coriander for preservation. Their strong smell probably led to its use as medicine and spice. Coriander was recognized as medicine even before the 1st century AD in Ayurveda. Its use recommended as a remedy for cough, vomiting, fever, burning, excessive thirst, for good hair and skin, and as a mood and taste enhancer, it was recommended as part of daily life. ऐसे बहुत कम ड्रग है जो सबको नॉर्मल रखने का हिस्सा लेते हैं। The cool spice that keeps the body in balance, its uniqueness in the very special compounds synthesized by the plant, recognized by humans. Every plant itself is a laboratory because if you are going to see the development of the plant. एक छोटे से बीज से जब पौधा पैदा होता है यू नो यू कैन नॉट जस्ट स्ट्रेच द सीड एंड मेक इट इन टू अ प्लांट देर आर लॉट मेनी प्रोसेस विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन टू इट प्लांट्स द लेबोरेटरीज ऑफ नेचर दैट ग्रो फ्रॉम सीड टू सीड डायनामिक लाइफ फॉर्म्स चेंजिंग इंटरनली एंड एक्सटर्नली कोरियांडर लीव स्मेल एंड टेस्ट वेरी डिफरेंट टिल द फ्लावर्स अ प्यार the flowers like umbels leading to fruiting the green fruits have an unpleasant smell but as they brown and dry their aroma develops the round coriander globule is in reality the fruit each made of two seeds fused together the essential oil stored in its special canals between the ridges the knowledge of spices they use as food and medicine part of our culture and daily life in the cold and humid north karnataka it's monsoon time time to prepare the trusted kashaya milk and water boiled with a combination of spices coriander the chosen spice of the season the grandmother remembers how her mother and aunts would ask her to make kashaya the spices changing with season and need our ancestors knew what spices did but in today's world the quest is to answer the why and how what is it inside coriander that makes it special what is its special chemistry the answer linalool a terpene with a pleasant smell and a touch of spiciness linalool is also called coriandrol it's antibacterial and antifungal also crucial for the production of vitamin e in our body jaise linalool content hai ya kuch aur antioxidant content hai wo khas kar yadi weight control kiya jaye to dhaniya ka sevan karna chahiye kisi roop mein Not a day goes without coriander in Indian kitchens. But where there is coriander, there is cumin. Dhaniya ek akela dalne mein thoda sa swad mein na uh, you can say uh, kadwa type hota hai aur jeere ka taste alag hota hai. So dono mix karte hai, dono ka sangam ho jata hai aur taste better ho jata hai. the boat shaped brown seeds cumin jeera probably one of the earliest spices to be used by humans in latin q 
Cuminum Siminum. Cumin, respected by naturalists, healers and philosophers. The first ever reference to this spice was in ancient scripts dated around 2000 before Christ. Aristotle's successor, Theophrastus wrote, Cumin has the most fruits, but you have to curse the plant for a good crop. A probable reference to the hardy nature of the plant. Physician, pharmacologist and botanist Dioscorides, he used cumin in his armory against disease. Cumin also finds mention in texts of the Old and New Testament. A spice so loved that it was placed on Roman dining tables, much like pepper today. During the Middle Ages, cumin was bestowed a special power in Europe. It became the symbol of love and fidelity, a spice that kept lovers from straying. Couples carried cumin seeds on them throughout the wedding ceremony in the hope of forever happiness. When soldiers left for war, their wives packed bread baked with cumin in their knapsacks. With time, cumin lost its glory in many parts of the world. But in India, so many dishes come alive with its slightly bitter taste. It's a daily spice, often the first to go into the hot oil. स्मेल आता है वो स्मेल इतना बढ़िया होता है कि कभी-कभी खाली स्मेल के लिए मैं घर में जीना जीरा भुनना पसंद करती हूं इट्स द स्पाइस एडेड टू कर्ड एज अ सीजनिंग इट्स यूजेस डाइवर्स जीरे वाला साज वो भी धनिया डाल के धनिया पुदीना डाल के इन मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया द डेली लेंटिल्स इनकंप्लीट without the flavorful seeds it's a spice that most certainly meets the definition of spice masala masala ka matlab hai ki ek aisa utpad jisme sugandh ho swad ho oshdhiya gun ho aapke bhojan ki sugandh bada de uska swad bada de aur uske khane se kuch na kuch aapke sharir mein fayda ho Cumin, Jiraka in Sanskrit, one that helps digestion. The warming spice, an integral part of the treatise of Acharya Charaka. जो काम अग्नि करता है वही काम ये उष्णवीर्य या तो ये जीरा अपने पेट में जाके करता है डाइजेशन इम्प्रूव करने में इस्तेमाल होता है जो जो व्याधियाँ पाचन से रिलेटेड है ये सारी व्याधियों में जीरा अग्निदीपन का काम करके इसका इस्तेमाल किया जाता है एन एक्सिलेंट डाइजेस्टिव एड दैट रेव्स द सिस्टम क्यूमिन्स यूनिक प्रॉपर्टी इट स्टिम्यूलेट्स एंड इट रिलैक्सेस ब्रिंगिंग ओवरऑल वेल बींग इवन बेटर स्लीप Cumin, like its cousin coriander, is harvested when dry. The seeds we use are the fruits. At the oil extraction unit, the entire plant goes in. Scientists across the world are looking at the unique chemistry of cumin, the interest far beyond the kitchen and cooking, flavor and home medicine. Compounds which are responsible the for the aroma the taste they are organic compounds so we chemists here have the task of isolating these materials characterizing them understanding their structure and most importantly trying to understand the relation between the structure and the aroma the taste so what lies inside cumin that gives it its hard to define taste and easy to see goodness 
It's the essential oil with a very unique molecule, cuminaldehyde. Nearly 40 to 45 percent of cumin's essential oil, responsible for its flavor, smell, and goodness. Recently, uh, it is found that cumin is having a lot of dietary fiber, very good dietary fiber. So after extraction or oil distillation, the spent material can be converted into a byproduct which is dietary fiber which is very good. Pani puri, shio puri, bhel puri, ragda peti, dahi batata puri. Ispe dhaniya pao jai, jira pao jai, kala namak hota hai, shafed namak hota hai. Aur masala jo hai, garam masala usme. Cumin and coriander together spell chaat. Lip smacking, tangy, savory. The very whiff of something that gets us drooling. A part of our street food culture. Almost our identity. So last time we will be eating it, so we will call it chaat. 80% of our taste is smell. And smell, the hallmark of cumin and coriander. As the volatile molecules enter our nose and reach the olfactory pad, a series of reactions follow. The molecules lock on the receptors. Nerves carry the information to the brain. What happens is that every time you, for example, smell a spice, so it's going to get input from all of these different areas in the brain and is going to say, oh, this is cumin. And you had cumin when you had, for example, chart before and you liked chaat and therefore you kind of want to have chaat. The desire to eat triggered with the mere whiff of the loved spice. At lightning speed, the chemical sense of smell receives and relays the information. The brain processes it. Its various centers command the body to be ready for food. The salivary glands spring into action. Saliva not just moistens the food and aids swallowing, it even starts the breakdown of starches. Salivating of your uh, salivary glands in the mouth, your, uh, for example, stomach starts to prepare gastric juices because now you're expecting food. And food is, is your reward. And as the reward, the food goes into the body, the liver, the integral part of our digestive system, starts pouring bile juice. Scientists studying spices are amazed at their action. Coriander, for example, cumin, for example, stimulate liver to secrete bile enriched in bile salts. So it facilitates the digestion of dietary fat. Fat digestion extremely beneficial. Fat covers our food in the gut, hampering digestion of all other food constituents. Undigested food stagnates in the small intestines, leading to discomfort and compromised nutrition. The action of cumin and coriander extends to the pancreas. In their juices are enzymes that break down proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Cumin and coriander, for sure, get our system going. Their benefit, definitely not confined to sensory pleasure. If you think about the amount of research which goes on every day in Indian kitchens, it is a lot more than the overall research put together in the globe. Our kitchens are chemical laboratories and each cook a chemist. Heat and pressure, combination of smells, tastes, textures. It's an amazing body of knowledge. Some inherited, some acquired. अगर आप उसको गरम तेल में नहीं डालते तो वो मुंह में आएगा और वो कच्चा कच्चा लगेगा जब उसको टोस्ट करने जाते हैं तब उसमें से एक स्ट्रांग अरोमा आता है हम लोग मसाला जरा भी नहीं खाएंगे तो डाइजेस्ट नहीं होगा खाना हम लोग को पानी डालने के बाद पट करके वो ऊपर से बंद करना है जो चीज पकने वाली है बाद में उसमें कच्चा जीरा यूज होता है इसकी जो प्रवृत्ति है ये ठंडे के लिए मानी जाती है अ बॉडी ऑफ नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स दैट वी फॉरगेट टू टेक प्राइड इन यू आर डूइंग समथिंग फॉर योर फैमिली यू आर एडिंग हेल्थ 
you know, whenever you use uh, your skills in cooking, you are giving them health. So definitely the health of your family is in your hands. So how can you say that you're just cooking? The last halt of our cumin coriander trail. The National Research Center on Seed Spices, Ajmer. An apex body dedicated to research in 10 seed spices. Coriander and cumin are part of their mandated crops. An integral part of their research is germplasm conservation. More than 2,300 varieties of 10 seed spices sit in this cold room. Life frozen in time. Each with a set of unique traits. Some favorable, some not so. Jitne bhi plant genetic resources hai, inke BGM masala fasalon ke ikhatthe bhi karte hai hum, humare desh se, bahar se bhi mangwate hai, aur usko fir hum rakhte hai, humara jo gene bank hai, uske andar, uske atirikt, हर साल उसको हम खेत में इवैल्यूएट भी करते हैं उगा करके सीड्स आर ग्रोन इन स्ट्रिक्ट आइसोलेशन दिस इज अ लिविंग जीन बैंक एज प्लांट्स ग्रो देयर जीन्स कम इनटू प्ले देयर ट्रेट्स वेरी देयर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेस कैन बी स्टडीड दिस एनेबल्स द साइंटिस्ट टू मिक्स एंड मैच एंड क्रिएट न्यू वैरायटीज सूटेड टू डिफरेंट सोइल कंडीशंस capable of fighting disease and pest and maximizing production aaj suppose karo maine aapko ek variety de di to aaj bahut acha perform kar rahi hai lekin ye zaruri nahi hai ki aane wale saalon mein bhi ye acha hi karegi us conditions mein hame nayi variety banani padegi naye genes banane padenge new problems new solutions cumin and coriander are two crops struggling to keep pace with pests a multidisciplinary team of scientists is looking at every aspect from biological pest control to soil nutrients all research focused on better production agricultural research is a two way process a constant interaction between farmers and scientists a give and take of knowledge and technology from shared experiences a perfect example of science complementing the common man the two cousins in our spice box complement each other one warming the body the other cooling it down maintaining balance and health they also teach us a valuable lesson behind an ordinary exterior often lies goodness and wisdom Na 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 na